My name is David Irons and I put on a series of seminars to teach people how to defend themselves using constitutional law. In the process of putting these seminars, I've spent a great deal of time in court as a court watcher. And what I've discovered is that the level of corruption in our courts exceeds anything we could possibly have imagined. Every time I go into court, uh, my I, I think that this time the judge can't possibly deny the law. This time the law is so completely clear that it is impossible to judge any other way. And every time I've walked out of the, the court, my reaction is that things are worse than I could ever possibly imagine. I'm going to take a little bit different tack with this, this video than what you might have seen before. This is about solutions. This is about what it looks like when we have actually succeeded. In my view, what it's going to look like when we succeed is we're going to have courts and we're going to have court officials that follow the law. Specifically, they follow the Constitution. Every court official has taken an oath to uphold the Constitution. They've raised their arm and swore, I swear to, to uphold the Constitution, so help me God. Now, that means that the, that the courts are obligated to uphold my rights and your rights. I'm going to give you a couple of references that I think will be helpful to you. Uh, one is uh, Jack and Margie Flynn's website, which is citizensoftheamericanconstitution.com. Uh, they have a very good class in learning how to defend yourself in court. Uh, another website is the, the Michigan Judicial Accountability Task Force at mjatf.com, which is a a way that litigants can put their observations as court watchers on the website. The one thing that has become apparent is the one thing that the courts are afraid of is court watchers, is people that are in the court exposing the crimes that happen in that court every single day. Uh, you may want to take a look at uh, the Lawman Group, which is on Yahoo group, Groups, and uh, you may want to take a look at uh, Bob Schultz's website. 